Hey guys, it's Queen Ninja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleagues. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Yeah, let's see the context of what this meant last week. <laughs> They all sound good. Are you going to try it too? Stop. <laughs> A matching everything. <laughs> so, okay, we're doing it for work, but what is the context of this? Of course, this is a business trip. This ain't, you know, a business and pleasure trip or just like, you know, friends type trip and stuff. Because, of course, it was obvious, especially with last week, how it ended. And I was like, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Mm -hmm. yeah, so he should be okay. No. Oh.
fucked up. Uh oh. Awesome. Like everything's going well. I mean, of course, which is a good thing. Okay. Uh oh. You just want to go to the hotel? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. We need to call you down. So what should she, should we just go to the hotel? I mean, you can always see if they have a to go order, and we just take it. Yeah, come on. I mean, you are a little kid right now. So Besides, you're sick. It's okay. Not embarrassed, huh? Mm-hmm. But... <laughs>
You sure? I mean, yeah, you freaked out over being very close with Brucey. It's okay. It can wait. Well, at least you need to get some sleep. It's okay, she's doing it because one, she cares, and two, you're sick. No. Me too. No. <laughs> Jesus! You've been up all night after you woke up. Jesus. Well, yes, baby, it's obvious. Just look at how you are right now.
Oh. Well, I think this is the longer moment we're waiting for, huh? He's so cute. <laughs> But honestly, a very fun year. To the movies together, I was so... <laughs> that in the freaking um theme park episode, best two episodes, and then I had to say like probably what third best Christmas episode. I mean, because in that episode, uh, <laughs> they really truly felt like parents. Oh my god. <laughs> What are you doing, weirdo? <laughs> uh, and he gave her those earrings so pretty. <laughs> Shoot, every episode is a favorite episode. Every episode was too good. I'm sorry.
starting it just how we began it. That was cute, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and even his sister came too. Because <laughs> even though everybody's coupled up, she still gets to be here. That's adorable. Uh, and then both of them fighting over for you. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. So, final thoughts on this show. I mean,. For like for two now, I want to say like two years in a row with the adult animes and dealing with work and just finding romance and stuff. Oh my god, y'all going in? I, I can't. I mean, you know, years ago, oh boy, a couple of seasons ago was that one show that I watched, um, that and the recovery of the MMO junkie, and now you have this and the senpai one. And now so many other ones are coming out. And I'm like, it's just getting more and more popular. And I love it because... I, and I remember saying it with... I didn't say it with Recovery MMO, um, MMO Junkie. And I think I did say it with um, the one show that I'm thinking of. The name I can't remember it of. Um, with Hirotaka and stuff. And then plus, I think I did say it with Senpai. Where I, you know, since I'm older now, I always, like, yes, I love seeing, like, teenagers in school and falling in love with everything and it's like that because, of course, that's the biggest thing you're always truly going to see, but I really like it now that we're starting to get a lot more of adult series because the fact is your audience is growing up and such, and so, of course, you want to see in your anime is where it's, like, someone who is around your age group, you know, falling in love and having to deal with going to work every day and then sometimes you don't want to go and then if you have a pet taking care of the pet doing your taxes and everything really like, god i relate so much to this character right now it's not even funny because yes there are days where i don't want to go to work <laughs> and there are days where i, I want to come home and immediately just lay down and stuff i don't always want to immediately you know there are times where i've had to come home immediately after work and gotten started on videos and gotten videos done and then being very very tired by the time I'm finishing everything and now what I truly do if I come home at like two or three I'm probably not starting a video until about four five or six and or almost seven o'clock which is now already 6 30 going on seven and I just finished this and this is coming out probably in like an hour or so but seriously with these two like they their story was a slow burn and I'm not mad at that I thought it was very cute where we had it very slow paced and such because I get it we're not gonna like I was there were times I was expecting a kiss between these two and every single time when they would get together and it would be closer and closer you're like yes you're gonna kiss it would never happen and you know I'd be that one who'd be a little pissed off and be like, God, like, why, why don't you just let them be together? But something tells me just how I feel with, like, Komi-san and, um, What's-His-Face. I feel like, of course, they've gotten together, even though I have not read the manga for that. I feel like with these two, excuse me, they're already together, possibly in the manga, even though I haven't read it yet. But, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, it's just like with Spy Family, because, you know, you can watch however many episodes of Spy Family, how many ever seasons of Spy Family, and, you know, we're still going to be looking like, all right, when the, when the hell are these two getting together? We all know that they have chemistry. Let these two be together. Who knows? Like, <laughs> I, I love that ish, and I will always be here for that ish, but damn, like, sometimes you'd be like, just let them hurry up and get together. Uh-huh. I mean, because I don't want it to be, like, where it's, like, okay, episode one, they're meeting each other first time, and they're getting to know each other, yada, yada, yada. Episode three, they're dating. Episode six, they're going on, like, their first official date together, or this happens, or whatever happens, they finally do the deed together, or they finally kiss, then do the deed, 
and such. I, that's why I like my little slow pace. Depending on the day and depending on the characters when, when I really want them to finally get together and such. But yes, this was a very cute, wholesome, adorable series that I will miss <laughs> very dearly. With all of my other adult anime shows that I love so much where you can relate to them too freaking much. But yes, this was such a goodie. Very underrated. I mean, because I did not see a lot of people talk about this show a lot. And when I did, it was very much the same small group of people who was talking about it consistently every single week. But I mean, yeah, out of everything else that was airing this season, it really held up at the time because I mean, it was just too freaking good. I enjoyed every freaking, every single freaking episode every single week. And the chemistry between those two, like, there, it's just, it's too good. Like, yes, you find other characters and other couples very much like them or even better, but still, you always come back to them for a reason. And I would love to see a season two on these two um, and everybody else to see if they all get together. I mean, it just depends. Like, I would rather see it in, like, two years and stuff because, you know, anime studios be busy and anime studios got ish to do. But, I mean, yeah. Would love to see it down the road. Hopefully it happens. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards the entirety of the Ice Guy and his cool female colleague. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially. Well, not really anything for next Tuesday. Because, of course, next Tuesday is my first Tuesday finally off of Spring Anime Doll. But, um... This weekend for the mystery shows is all I'll say. And then, you know, eventually the week after next Tuesday, the start of spring anime. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.